Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how a seller can register and log in on an online marketplace store. First, in our multi vendor marketplace application, an admin has to create a seller plan. Seller plan includes how much commission an admin wants when the product of a particular seller is sold on his online store. An admin has to click on seller control, seller plans. He has to click on this plus button. And now he has to enter all these details. Let me show you how it is done. Now he has to enter the condition details. And by entering all these details, he has to click on create. Here we can see a seller plan with the name of premium is created. Next step for admin will be to bring seller login and seller registration page on his front end. So let me show you how it is done. An admin has to click on settings, setup instructions, and now he has to follow all these steps to bring seller registration and seller login page into the front end. And if an admin wants to add a seller's list or profiles page on his front end, he has to click on this embedded page. And now let me show you how the front end looks when the admin follow all these steps. As we can see seller login, seller registration and marketplace seller option has been created on front end. By clicking on this marketplace seller option, we can see the details of those seller companies who have registered on this store. Now let me explain with an example how a seller can register and log in on this online marketplace store. If a seller wants to register, he needs to click on seller registration. And now he has to fill this registration form. He has to select a plan. After entering all these details, he has to click on next. Now seller has to upload some documents as an identity proof. After uploading the documents, he has to click on register. Yes, as we can see, the registration of a seller is completed. Now the seller needs credentials so that he can log in. For that, he needs approval from the admin. Let me show you how it is done. In admin panel, an admin has to click on seller control, seller companies. And here an admin can see that a new seller has registered on his store. And if an admin wants to allow this seller to sell his products on his store, he can change the status from new to active. As soon as he changes the status to active, the login credentials will be sent to the seller on his mail ID. And with the help of those, seller can log in into his seller panel. Now let me show you how a seller can log in with the help of these credentials. On front end, seller has to click on seller login. And here he has to enter those credentials which he received on his mail ID. After entering the credentials, he has to click on sign in. That's how a seller can log in into his seller panel. Thank you so much for watching this video.